To help solve our state's ongoing energy challenges, our Maui Electric team has been working with energy partners from Japan and the United States on a new smart grid demonstration project, Jump Smart Maui. I mahalo kia kua e na ohana no PV no EV. Almost a year since its debut, the Jump Smart Maui project is addressing the challenges of modernizing our smart grid system and building a clean transportation future for Hawaii. Funded through a $30 million investment by New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, or NEDO, Japan's largest public research and development management organization. JumpSmart Maui aims at improving integration of variable renewable energy resources, such as solar and wind power, and preparing the electric system for widespread adoption of all electric vehicles. We're really leading the, the world in our challenges here in Ho Hawaii for small island grids. So stakeholders like the Japanese government are interested in, in coming to places like this and developing technologies to reduce our dependence on fossil fuel, increase our utilization of re renewable energy, and, and lower costs for all ratepayers. What we've seen already is increased adoption rates of electric vehicles, and, and, and that's, a, that's a key for the state to reduce its dependence on fossil fuels and increase utilization of uh, renewable energy from the uh, electricity grid. Uh, that in conjunction with our, our customers working with the utility to, to manage loads and resources and, and smart inverters uh, to allow increased adoption of renewable energy, that's the ultimate goal. Currently, there are more than 300 EV drivers participating in the Jump Smart project. One participant, Greg Kresge, truly walks the walk as he also serves as the environmental compliance engineer for our Ma'alaya power plant. The Jump Smart concept is that, you know, the charging of your vehicle happens when we have extra power on the grid so that it doesn't go to waste. So that when, at night, when we have the lowest demand um, and the lowest load, demand on the system, we have that's when it's the windiest and we end up having a lot of wind that can't necessarily be used. And so if we can charge our vehicles at that time of the night and we can turn that over so that that's done while we're asleep, um, then that gives us the opportunity to be able to use a resource that is otherwise going to waste. In Hawaii, EV technology is playing a key role in alternate energy solutions. With every passing year, more and more plug-in electric vehicles are being seen on the road as residents recognize that EVs can significantly reduce our daily dependence on fossil fuels. As part of its smart grid demonstration project, JumpSmart Maui will be testing and analyzing how this new technology can become an integral component of a more diverse, reliable, and cost-efficient clean energy system. This also includes encouraging more awareness about the possibility of shifting charging times to early morning hours when more wind power is available and overall load is low. To support the EV movement, there are currently five Jump Smart Maui DC fast charger stations that have been set up across Maui. Developed by Hitachi Unlimited, they represent the most advanced EV charging technology available on Maui today. DC fast chargers can conveniently recharge the Nissan LEAF EV up to 80% in about 30 minutes. By contrast, most other public charging stations on Maui are level 2 technology and may take from 4 to 8 hours to fully recharge an electric car. According to Hitachi, up to 20 Jump Smart Maui fast charger stations are expected to open at strategic locations on Maui by 2015, providing a solid network of rapid charge stations for the LEAF and other EVs equipped with a DC fast charge port. The next phase of the project will include home volunteers living in eligible Kihei areas of Maui. Currently, 40 eligible households, including 10 with electric vehicles, are being recruited to participate in the project. Once residents agree to participate, specific energy data will be transmitted through state-of-the-art equipment installed in their homes. As part of this phase, our Maui Electric teams have been working very closely with members from Hitachi, who are currently stationed at the Maui Electric Kahului Base Yard. Together, they are coordinating the installation of micro-DMS and communication equipment installations as part of the project infrastructure. It's been great, you know, we, we have been able to de design this project from the start to really meet the needs of, of, of Maui. Looking at the big picture, 
the project will create a more efficient, reliable, clean energy grid that can be applied to our island and scaled to the larger grid across Hawaii, as well as other parts of the world.